Welcome to this yoga class to touch your toes. Now, the time this takes is up to you, but I'm gonna show you the ways to make this possible. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Leah from Lakori Yoga, and I help beginner yogis feel confident on the mat and help them reach their yoga goals. You can click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any new classes. So let's get bendy. Okay, so we're gonna start with our legs out front and our hands are gonna come down by our hips. Now this is called Dandasana pose, staff pose. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add our cat-cow movement to this. So as we inhale, we're gonna arch our back and push our chest forward. As we exhale, we're gonna round the back, belly button draws the spine, shoulders move forward. Inhale, come forward, exhale, reverse. Now, if this feels a lot on your back or on your legs, bend your knees up slightly. Inhale, forward. Exhale back. Inhale and exhale. Okay, so we're gonna add some rolls into this now. So as we inhale, we're gonna kind of arch, slump down, push yourself forward, lift your chest up. As you exhale, arch the back, and come back into that kind of slumped position. So you've got this wave of the spine coming on. Hands can be whenever, wherever you'd like next to you. They could be on your legs. Maybe try this with straight legs and bent legs as well. Just to see how that feels. And then reverse it, so come forward and back. Inhale, up and back. And again, if you had straight legs on the first round, do that as well on this side. So it can look quite funny, but it should feel really great. You should be able to feel something working. And then come back up to neutral. We're gonna cross the legs, roll over onto all fours. Now from here, take the hands out slightly further past the shoulders, tuck the toes, and downward facing dog. So if this is your first downward facing dog of the day, just make sure that you're pushing your belly towards your thighs and your bum to the skies and maybe keep your knees bent. You can walk the dog, straightening one leg, re-bending and straightening the other. Just take it nice and easy. Then bending both knees, look to the top of your mat and just take tiny steps until you get to a forward fold at the top of your mat. So feet hips distance apart, bend into the legs so that your whole upper body relax. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Bend your knees as much as you can so that your belly rests on your thighs. Really release the upper back here. And then very slowly roll all the way up, one vertebra at a time, until you come to Tadasana, mountain pose at the top of your mat. So we're gonna do a few rolls now. So tuck your chin and roll back down the way you just came. One vertebra at a time, very slowly. The slower, the better. Once you reach the, reach the bottom, roll all the way back up. Again, nice and slow. When you reach the top, tuck your chin, roll back down. If you start to feel dizzy at all, just take a break. Okay. 
and roll back up. Roll back down, and this time when we when we get down, we're going to stay down. Okay, so once you've reached the bottom, open your feet up wide, as wide as the yoga mat, so just a little bit more than hips distance. Bend the knees and really let the upper body relax here. Maybe even do like a few little bounces. This is actually called gorilla pose. If you think, uh, think about it as in kind of acting like a gorilla, just bouncing up and down, maybe little twists, maybe over to one side and over to the other. So a few little bounces. And then come to some stillness. Heel toe the feet back into hips distance. We're going to inhale, halfway lift. So lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine. Look forward slightly, hands can come up the legs. Exhale, folding forward. Plant the hands, take the right foot back, lower the right knee, low lunge. Hands can be on the floor. You can come up onto your knee if you want. Lower the hands back down to the mat. Left knee comes back to meet the right. Lower down, chin to chest. Come through, baby cobra. Belly is still on the mat here. Push back up onto your knees. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Feet together at the back of the mat. Right leg lifts up high. Step it through in between your hands, however you need to get it there. Again, low lunge, either hands on the mat or hands up on your knee. Lower the fingertips again to the mat, tuck the toes of the left foot, come up off of the knee, do a few little rocks and then rock it forward to meet the right in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. And bend the knees, sweep the hands all the way up above your head, come up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, so stepping back with your right leg, we're just gonna step back a couple of feet. So don't take it as wide as you would say if you were in a high lunge, bring it in a little bit further. Hands on hips, and just make sure that your hip bones are facing towards the top of your mat. So they're not coming out to the side, you're facing towards the front. Ever so slightly bend in the front knee, just so you're not locking it out, so you're not pushing your knee to the back of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Make sure the back toes are slightly pointed at an angle. And exhale, fold forward with length in the spine. Go as far as you can go without bending. Holding it here. Take a couple breaths. And then bend into it, release down. And holding here, you should be feeling a nice stretch all down the back of your left leg here. Maybe into the hip bones, maybe into the back, it just depends where you're tight. Looking towards your big toe. And if you can't go down that far, just make sure that your hands are not resting on your knees. They can rest on your lower legs or your upper legs, but not on your knees or on the, on the floor if you're more flexible than that. And then bend into that left foot until your fingers can reach the ground. Pick up your right foot and I want you to place it behind the left or towards the baby toe side of your left foot. So you crisscross your legs over. And stay here. Now if you can't touch the floor with your legs straight, keep a bend in the knees and just focus on trying to lengthen them legs, trying to lift your bum up as high as you can. If you can straighten your legs, focus on lengthening the back and folding forward. Holding it here.
Make sure you're breathing. And then bend into the knees, right foot steps all the way back. So we're going to come into a high lunge. So then hug in the midline, bring your arms up, high lunge. Left foot's forward, right foot's back. Next, exhale, step to the top of your mat, hands together. Other side. Step in the left foot back, just a couple of feet, toes point out to the side. Hands on hips, just make sure your hip bones are facing towards the top of your mat. Lengthen through that left leg, but make sure that your knee's not locked out, so maybe an ever so slightly bent knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward with length in the spine. When you can't go any further, hold there. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Find a stretching sensation somewhere and breathe into it. Try to get your body to make it relax. On your next exhale, fold into it. Release down and breathe. Look towards your big toe. Feel a nice stretching sensation somewhere around the right leg and the right hip. Try to make sure that your hip bones are still pointing towards the top of the mat. So maybe you want to pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. Just see if that makes any difference in where you're feeling a stretch. Then bend into that right knee, fingertips to the mat. Left foot comes onto the baby toe side of your right foot. Either keep your knees bent and focus on strength and um, lengthening them, or if you can lengthen them, focus on lengthening the spine and then folding forward. You can always use blocks here as well if you have any blocks at home. you have got your legs crisscrossed, see if you can move some of the weight into, the, into your toes. See if you can move the weight forward. And then re-bend into your knees, left leg steps all the way back, low lunge, rise up. Come to the top of your mat again, mountain pose. Feet hips distance apart. Let's inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. And maybe you can already notice the difference here now in how far you can reach your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward, plant the hands, step both feet back into plank, either chaturanga, or lower the knees, go into cobra or up dog, and back to downward facing dog. Try to push the heels of your feet down towards the mat while lifting your bum up high to the sky. And then bend the knees, look in between your hands. Either step, hop, jump to the top of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift and stay here. So we don't want the hands on the knees. So bring the hands slightly up onto the thighs. And from here, we're going to do our cat cow. So we're going to inhale, stick the bum back, open the chest, look up. Exhale, arch. Navel draws towards spine, arch the back, maybe the elbows come forward. Inhale, reverse, exhale, arch. 
And just do a few of these at your own pace. Inhaling as you open the chest. Exhaling as you reverse. And you can bend the knees as much as you need to here. And on your next exhale, fold, fold. Plant the hands, both feet step back, downward facing dog. Lower the knees down to the ground and we're gonna come down onto our bums. Onto our backs actually, so lay all the way down Feet are going to come down towards the mat, as close to your bum as you can. Arms are going to come down by the sides and we're going to lift up into bridge. So while you're in this pose, keep looking up and don't turn to look at the camera because you might hurt your neck. If you need to look at what we're doing, lower down and then look. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Maybe tuck your shoulder blades under. And keep lifting your hips up as high as you can. Feel the upper leg muscles switching on here. So as well as folding forward and trying to get flexibility in our legs, we also need some strength in them as well. So lift your hips up as high as you can. And on your next exhale, lower them all the way back down to the mat. Hug your knees in and just do a few little circles on your lower back. Take your legs out long. Let's move both of our legs over to the left side. Reach your arms up overhead, grab your right wrist with your left hand and then bring it over to the left. So it's like we've got this banana shape going on with our body. And just relax here for a moment. Just a little side stretch all down the right side of the body. Just opening up a little bit after all that forward folding. And back to the center, bring your arms back and then your legs back. Move your legs over to the right and then grab your other wrist, your left wrist and pull it over to the right. Again, just breathing into the side. And back to the center. And just take any last little movements that you want before finding your final pose in Shavasana. So legs go long, feet flop open, arms come down by the side of the body. Maybe one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest, completely up to you. And just take a moment here to relax in Shavasana. Just let your body lengthen out and feel the effects of today's class. If your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to your breath. Keep your mind on your mat until the class ends.
and then start to deepen your breath. Slowly wiggle the fingers and the toes. Roll over onto one side. And then slowly push yourself back up into a seated position. Let's inhale, sweep the hands up above your head. Exhale, hands to heart. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget to practice, practice, practice because that is the only way that you are going to gain flexibility in your forward fold. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you would like more classes like this then take a look in the description below. There's a link for my new course where I help yoga students reach their goals. So I've got a whole module on forward folding, on back bending on hip opening, or to help you gain flexibility and help you feel confident on the mat. So go and check that out and I will see you next time.